It marks the World No Tobacco Day, and places all over the globe are observing this occasion, including China. Indoor smoking and tobacco advertisements will be banned in public places in Beijing, and this is part of new tobacco control regulations, which come into force June the 1st. Experts say China should raise the tax on cigarettes even further to reduce the use of tobacco. CCTV's Huna kicks off our coverage on No Tobacco Day. China increases wholesale tobacco excise tax from 5 to 11 percent in early May, its first increase in six years. The move has been hailed by experts as an effective means to control tobacco consumption, but some say it's far from enough. From 2000 to 2012, the price index for cigarettes sold in China rose by only 3 percent. And considering the rise in people's income, cigarettes are 70 percent more affordable than before. So experts say that China should raise the tax on cigarettes further to reduce the use of tobacco. Gregory Inian Tan, a tobacco control specialist, has spent his life fighting for a ban on smoking. He believes the tax should be raised higher and the revenues from the tax invested in health and medical sectors. Uh, there's raised tobacco uh, tax is 5 percent. It's a good start, but it's not enough. It's just the beginning because uh, by raising tobacco taxes, there are two important functions performed. Number one would uh, discourage low-income uh, smokers, such as uh, students, youth, workers and farmers, to smoke less. The second is to reach the overall tobacco revenue as a total, uh, as a total package. The tobacco industry is a major source of tax revenue in China. Last year, it brought in over 900 billion yuan, or close to 145 billion U.S. dollars. The tax hike is expected to bring in extra 87 billion yuan in revenue for the government this year. But despite the tax, China still faces enormous challenges in fighting smoking. There are three other things to be done. Number one is to offer assistance to smokers to quit. We have to classify smoking as an active a chronic disease. Therefore, the expenses can be uh, paid by the insurance programs. We have to strengthen the smoking cessation practices so people have place to go. Okay, another one is to add graphic warning signs on top of tobacco practice. Therefore, smokers would discourage from smoking and less desirable to send to someone else as a gift. Another two things has to be done. One is to separate the functions of the state tobacco uh, monopoly uh, administration and also Chinese tobacco corporations. Therefore, ban smoking is one thing, promoting uh, smoke sales is something else. The tobacco tax increase is expected to reduce the number of smokers in China by 4 million. In a country with 300 million smokers, it's a small first step, but an important one. Honat CCTV, Beijing.